Hi folks, we're continuing our series on God's Philosophers and um, I hope you've enjoyed the series just briefly thinking about how when we talk about history and, and group it in into the age of the Dark Ages of the Middle Ages that that's just erroneous, that actually there's more to it than that um, so we continue um, Today we talk about science, we have in mind a clear and specific meaning. We picture a laboratory where researchers are carrying out experiments, but the word science once had a much broader definition than it does now. The word comes from scienza, which means knowledge in Latin. Science encompassed all intellectual disciplines, including politics, theology and philosophy. Theology was famously the queen of them all. The study of nature as a separate subject was called natural philosophy and it is this term that will be used throughout this book. One of the essential lessons of history is that if we use our categories to describe the past, we will seriously misjudge it. Instead, it's important to understand where people in the Middle Ages were coming from and to understand them on their own terms. Part of doing this involves looking at subjects that we would consider unscientific today. To medieval people, magic, astrology, alchemy were all considered to be sciences, more surprisingly, these arcane disciplines contribute directly to modern science by providing alternative ways of comprehending and manipulating the natural world. It's a really interesting book. I really enjoy this book. 